toughest part, every time I talk to students, you know, a lot of them are graduating for the first time. They're going to come across a lot of negative thinking out there. So I have something called the 3 a.m. story, which I typically tell, which is really about we've all had that great idea. You know, we wake up in the middle of the night, we have this great idea, and a lot of us don't take action on that idea. And I explain what happens to that very moment when you had an idea and why so many people actually don't take action. And so I set the story up. And when students hear that, I think they see themselves in that story. In fact, everybody else who's there actually sees themselves in the same story because we've all had an idea, we didn't act on it, and then what happened? All of a sudden, a year later, somebody else came up with that idea and we're like, well, that was my idea. And so this story that I tell, I call it the 3 a.m. story, really talks to that. And it's, I think it's a great story. Rule number two. I'm talking to everybody in this room. Has this ever happened to you? Did you ever wake up? in the middle of the night, let's say three in the morning, and you wake up and you have this fantastic idea. Clap if you know what I'm talking about. Man, and that idea is so good, you toss it and turn it because you can't sleep. You toss it and turn it so much so, your significant other kicks you out of bed. And what do you do? You get up and you start thinking about this idea. You can't sleep. Three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, by five o'clock you are convinced this is the best idea you've ever had. By six in the morning, man, you've made your first million dollars. Where? Up here. By seven or eight o'clock, you are retired. Where? Up here. You are so fired up about this idea, you can't wait for somebody to wake up so you can tell them this idea. Sure enough, you hear somebody. Family, friend, colleague, somebody wakes up. What do you do? You run over there to tell them this idea. And you said, man, I got to tell you this idea. I was up all night, let me explain it to you. Then you start going into detail about this idea. And at that moment, you ask that key question, man, what do you think? And at that very moment, the dream killer has shown up. <laughs> Clap if you know what I'm talking about. Things were going good up to that point. Now here's what I noticed about a dream killer. They're just not gonna stab your idea, twist it up and kill it. No, 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 no. They've learned to chop it down slowly right in front of you. Let me show you how it works. You approach them with the great idea. What do you think? Dream killer's response. I mean, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> well, that's not the response you were waiting for. So you're like, man, you're not understanding me. Let me explain it again. You see what I mean now? Dream killer's response. Yeah, I, I just never seen anybody do it that way before. And at this very moment, your idea is on life support. You gotta what? You gotta bring it, if you know what I mean. So you break out the PowerPoints, you break out the maps, the whiteboard. You have that Jerry Maguire moment where you're right up the manifesto. Grab it, slap it on the table, says, man, can you now see my idea? Dream killer's response, the final stab, the twisting of the knife, the kill your idea. They say something like this. I mean, if you want to do it, go ahead. <laughs> now, what happens? You walk away from that conversation saying, man, that was the dumbest idea I've ever had. I can't believe I stayed up all night. Fast forward life. One year later, what do you see? Your idea. And you're like, but that was my idea. Now, what was the difference between that other person and you? Yell it out. I like your answers, but here's your real problem. Listen carefully. Your problem was you listen to stupid people. That's your problem. Now, I know what you're saying, University of Phoenix, Atlanta. Victor, you just can't come up here and call people stupid. Sounds wrong. Well, let me go ahead and define stupid, see if you agree with my definition of stupid. Because I've discovered in life there are three types of people whose advice you should never take. I've gone ahead and categorized them for your benefit. Why? Because I love you. That's why. So, all three. Three categories of people whose advice you should never take. First level, never listen to people who don't know. Too easy, right? Second level, never listen to people who don't know. And no, they don't know. <laughs> Third level, never listen to people who don't know. No, they don't know, but pretend to know what they don't know. Are you with me? Are you with me? All right. University of Phoenix, rule number one, stay away from pessimistic people. Rule number two, stay away from. You said it, I didn't. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>